Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm sharing with you this sweet love note to send somebody special that I made with the warm welcome bundle of products found in our mini catalog. This card is taken right out of our catalog, showing you just how quick and easy it is to get started. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how to make this card. I'm going to start with my stamping for this, and so I'm going to bring in my door, and I'm going to ink this up. Now I've got a quick tips and video for this stamp set so that you can line up the image perfectly with the die every time, so you'll want to be sure to check that out. I'm going to stamp that onto my basic white cardstock, and I'm going to leave enough room around the outside so that I can cut it out with the die. And then I'm going to ink up my hand here, and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of this piece of basic white. And I'm going to stamp the hello at the bottom of the door here. There we go. I've got my stamping done, and I'm ready to bring in my blends. Okay, I'm going to start by coloring, and I'm going to do my arm first. So I'm going to bring in my pool party here and do the sleeve real quick and easy. I'm gonna bring in my dark, and I'm going to do the stripes. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in my So Saffron, and I'm going to color the flowers. Now I'm going to color a few of these with the dark and a few of them with the light. So it's just quick and easy basic coloring. Oh, I think I'll do one more here. And then I'll bring in my light and color the last three flowers. There we go. I'm going to bring in the granny apple at this point, and I'm going to use the light for this. And so I'm going to do the first ones here, and I'm going to run a little bit of color on the stems. And then I'm going to use the dark, and I'm going to do these last two leaves. And the stems coming out of the bottom here. There we go. Next, I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to bring this in to pull the other elements of my card together. And so I'm going to use my flare tip here, and I'm quickly going to color this paper that holds the flowers with the light. And of course, our color lifter makes corrections real quick and easy. You can push that back into the image if you color outside, I'm going to add a little bit of shading here along the top and right his hand. And so I'm going to bring my light back and just kind of blend that. There we go. I've got that done and I am ready to add the flesh tone. Let's see, I think I'm going to use 800 for that our medium light. We've got his hand done. And then I'm going to come over to the door and I'm going to add some color to the door. I'm just going to do this quickly and easily. Adding a little bit of highlight along certain parts to pull in that color. Let's see, I'm going to add a little bit here and here. and along the edge, and along this edge here. And I think I'm gonna add partially along the top. Now this can be done if you'd like to, if you don't wanna add the color to the door and you don't like the way that looks, you don't have to. And this is the other half of that medium light. And once again, you can use your color lifter to soften that a bit. And that'll pull some of the color out and blend it. And depending on how many times you go over the top, it will soften it as desired. Once again, our color lifter is great for pushing that color back in. And as you can see, you can also use it for something like this, where you're lightening it up a little bit. Okay, I've done that, and I'm ready to color my 
hearts. Now I'm going to be die cutting the hearts using the die from this set. And so I just want to quickly scribble several blobs of color that are about the size of my die. And let me show you what that die looks like. So as you can see, got plenty of color there. And then I'm going to add some quick lines with my fine tip dark. Now this will allow me to set that die anywhere on here and just cut. And I want it to look random and imperfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I've got my door and my colors ready to cut out those hearts and the hand. So let me cut those out and we'll assemble the card. Now I've cut out my pieces and I didn't make my lines long enough on my stripes. So I can simply bring my blends back in and correct that quickly. Um, no harm, no foul. It's real easy to do. And of course, if you need to add more color um, for the background, you can do that at this time also. I've got that fixed now and I'm going to set those aside and assemble the card. Okay, I'm going to bring the card base in here and fold it on the score line. And then I'm going to bring in this little polka dot pool party that I've cut with the die, and I'm simply going to add some adhesive on the back between the dots. I want to concentrate on the, the, the edges so that they're nice and adhered. So you can just kind of tuck that adhesive where you'd like. Once again, multi-purpose adhesive sheets would be wonderful for this die. It would make adhering it real quick and easy. I'm going to lay that down onto my card front to create this tone-on-tone -tone effect and add a little texture. And then I'm going to bring in this piece of vellum. Now, because this is vellum, I want to make sure I only add adhesive where I want it so that it doesn't show. So I'm going to place my door on the, the top of this just as a mask. And then I'm going to add adhesive here in the center so that I know I have it and it won't show. I'm gonna bring my card front back in and I'm going to layer that on top. And then I can bring my door in and I'm going to pop this layer up quickly and easily with my dimensionals. Now, um, I wanna leave these edges bare and not have dimensionals because I'm going to tuck in my little hearts once I have this in place. Okay, I've got my dimensionals off and I'm ready to adhere. So I'm gonna pop this little door right in the center of my card like so. And then I'm going to bring in my little hand and I'm going to adhere this down flat since I've already popped up that door and adhere it right here on the inside of the door frame. There we go. I'm also going to add a mini glue dot to the back of this bow that I tied in linen thread. Um, you can pinch as you pick up and fold it back on itself so that it'll fit. And I'm going to put that right here at the top of my bouquet, just as a little bit of texture there. And then I'm going to add my three hearts. Now I'm going to place these hearts randomly around the door and that vellum is kind of going to give it a soft look. Now this is where you can strategically place your heart so that if you didn't get all the lines on it like you wanted to initially, you can adhere them down where you'd like them so that that doesn't show as much. And I think that's good. And so I am going to use my mini glue dots because um, I'm adhering this on vellum. You don't want to use a wet adhesive on vellum. It'll buckle a little bit. And I'm going to add that second heart. Layering it a little bit. There we go. And then this third heart on the far side, I'm going to add those glue dots again. And I'm going to tuck this one behind the door. There we go. A sweet and simple card to send somebody a heartfelt hello. And of course, if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.